am Daniela Shane Aragira from the class of 1209 St. Augustine and welcome to my first ever vlog. Wow. And for today's video, I will be making a 3D structure of Plantsa. And what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The cell was first discovered in 1665 by an English scientist named Robert Hooke. While looking through a microscope, he observed a tiny box-like object in a slice of cork and named these boxes cells. Cells are the basic units of life which make up all the living things. This idea forms the basis of the cell theory. Cell theory, it has three main parts. First is all living things are made up of cells. Second, the cell is the basic unit of structure and function in all living things. Three, the cells only come from the other pre-existing cells called cell division. Chloroplast Chloroplast contain a green pigment that traps sunlight and converts it into sugar by a process called photosynthesis. The sugars are the source of energy for the plants and the animals that can eat them. Endoplasmic reticulum the ER is a membrane system of folded sacs and tunnels that helps move protein within the cell as well as export them outside of the cell. Pacules. These are large membrane enclosed compartments that store toxic waste as well as useful products such as water. These are mainly found in plants. Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is a stack of membrane covered sacs that prepares protein for the export of the cell. Cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a thick, water-based solution in which the organelles are found. Substances such as salts, nutrients, minerals, and enzymes are dissolved in the cytoplasm. Ribosomes. These are little round structures that produce proteins. They are found in the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Mitochondrion. The plural of the word mitochondria. This is the powerhouse of the cell. It converts the energy stored in the food into energy-rich molecules that cell can use. Nucleus. The nucleus is the control center of the cell. It contains DNA, the genetic material that directs all the activities of the cell. Cell wall. 
This is the rigid outermost layer of the plant cell. It makes the cell stiff, providing the cell with the mechanical support and giving it protection. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye! You know that speaking that wow wow boy is that? Ewa! No! Don't, don't, don't.